Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. So, uh, today I wanted to go over through and how to get yourself certified with Dell Chromebooks. Not HP, not Lenovo, not any other brand. Yes, Chromebooks are pretty much through a mass variety of different manufacturers out there of computer technology. And so, we are looking into Dell Direct, it is basically Dell itself. Uh, Dell Direct is a different website uh, related to their Chromebooks to do their self-dispatch. So like whenever you call Dell uh, for your enterprise world and what they log into is basically the same or similar application that we use uh, here in the district. So let me go ahead and open a browser here. And if you go to Dell, no, if you search for Dell Tech Direct, this is the technician login. This is a site that you would want to go in to do repairs or send in repairs, uh, anything from a screen or a keyboard or so forth, anything related to that computer, laptop, or desktop, or monitor. Uh, it's all done through this Dell Tech Direct site. So let me log in. So then before I continue any further of the Dell Tech Direct, your IT director or manager would need to have access to this to create the request. So if you go, go into the Tech Direct of Dell.com, and then if you select on register, put in your work email, put in your password, you do register, you put in information of your district, your technicians, how many people you are, et cetera, et cetera. And then once you submit in the request, you have to wait at least a good week to week and a half to receive information on um, how to get this registered and up and running. Once it's up and running, once it gets approved, uh, then you have these actions here on the left-hand side. You have a quick action, which is basically shortcuts of the ones down here in the bottom, uh, which are just up here. So you can actually put a self support request. So what we're gonna try to do today is that we're gonna try to get ourselves certified in Chromebook. So we're not gonna go ahead and do a support request or so forth. I'll go ahead and do that in another video on how to do that. But for right now, I've been trying to look for how to get certified under Chromebook. And since everybody uses Chromebooks, for their different aspects of companies. The way to do it with Dell specifically is that down here at the very bottom center where it says certification and authorization, that's not the place you wanna to go to because that does not relate to Chromebooks itself. So for an example, let me go in here for an example, open this up. Here you can schedule an exam with Pearson View. Pearson View does have the exam for testing for Chromebooks as well as other Dell products, uh, cloud service, storage, server, uh, a lot of different things, desktops, laptops, servers, um, but we're not going to go there. We need to get the actual material to read or test on. So if you go to the exam, access exam preparation under the certification authorization, this is not the same section either. This is the confusing part. This took me quite a while to figure out. But when you select access here, you only have access to the servers, to the desktops, to the laptops, to the monitors, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we don't want that. What we want is by going back to the dashboard, and this doesn't really explain it, but it's there. So here under self-dispatch, you can check warranties, access self-dispatch online and training. And we're like, hmm, okay. So when you select this, now it's going to take you to a page where you can do the dispatching, check the warranty status on Dell products, uh, view any history if there's any previous uh, uh, service request history on those devices. So what you want to do is select on the bottom left, which says get authorized. So this is the material that you would want to get. So you select apply. It will take you to the certifications or where you want to do for your Chromebook, which is right here is listed. Follow the instructions here where it says to access the training course. Here is to retake the course if you wanted to. And then view your certifications once you complete it. There are additional study materials down here at the bottom. 
under the training material library and the assistance through Dell Direct if you had any additional questions besides the test or within the test and so forth. So to begin the registration, select the offering, add the course, complete the registration, place the order, and launch. Basically, this whole process, you're not paying for anything. You're not entering information of anything. You're just selecting boxes and say, I want to take this course. I've already selected the course and gone through that process. So basically, you just select on Chromebook here. Let's see if we can just open a page. There it is. Uh, once you're in this page, since I'm already registered, that's why it shows right up here and down here as well. But I've already taken, I'm already going to start the course, so I cannot go through that same process as what you just saw a moment ago under the Home tab, which is this. But it's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, if I try to do it again, it's going to add another of this Chromebook 11 course to my registration, and then it's going to cause issues. Let's see if we can do this. Um, we'll just say for an example, Alienware, you want to, where it says, click begin registration you can either select it or select to the right where it says the action so we'll just say desktops I know desktops pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and select begin registration it's gonna take me to this page let me move this over here and this will be the same process once you select on Chromebook for beginning the registration so now we're going to go ahead and select the offering for this specific desktop, just like if you were selecting a Chromebook. And then this pop-up window comes up. This is where it says add the course. Check the box to add the course. These are the courses for desktops. Uh, for Chromebook, only gave me one specific option. Did not give me all these different languages. So I selected the box and added it to the course curriculum. And then you want to go ahead and select on complete registration as it states on the left hand side here so you hit that now it's going to show your name it's showing that it's confirmed that it's been added to your web-based training for the curriculum now you want to select on place order which is states on the left hand side as well once you've done that then at the very bottom it says click launch so now you can actually physically launch the button if you take what I've come across this very first portion of the modular when you select launch there are tutorial videos of one hour approximately and that um, there are slides you can go back and forth you, you know it's not like you skipped it and then that's it you can't do it anymore uh, it's also great because it's listed as unlimited uh, normally certifications you only have three tries like within 24 hours 48 hours and I think 72 hours and then you can't take the exam again until um, until uh, at least six months or to a year, which is a bit annoying. Uh, here's your passing score of 80. This is just the assessment, but it only gives you 10 questions. So on the actual exam, could be 60, could be 50, could be more. Um, so right now, we're not going to select anything here, but I am going to go back and then show you my Chromebook. So here's training for a Chromebook. I want to launch this. This is what you'll have to launch. You'll launch that and then it'll take you to here. So here's the Dell training and then you have the assessment right here just to state it under the desktop section. So let's select launch and then it's going to pull up tutorial videos through like a sliding program, like a PowerPoint or so, or like a, a keynote for Apple. Um, I can select no, but I can select yes. I'll just select yes, and so you can see what it looks like. So it's basically it's Dell Chromebook. Right down here, you have a little slider. It goes over for five seconds. You select next, and then you keep reading on. Keep reading on. What's supported? What's not supported? And then, of course, later on, you have an, up, an OBB, an UBI, basically, uh, like in Windows version will say out of box experience and go through the whole process and so forth. So that's pretty much how to get yourself through the training, through the assessment, and then to do the actual certification. When you're done with your assessment, you'll have an option that says, hey, would you like to take your own exam? 
and then that is when it requires a payment of $20. Uh, as of time of this video, which is February 7th, I think it is, February 7th of 2017, uh, at this time, that's how much the exam course could be or is, and what it is in the future could definitely change because they make up their own pricing. All right, so I, hopefully this helps you out in seeing how you can get yourself Chromebook certified with Dell. If you're with a different provider, different company like uh, with HP, with Lenovo, and other brands out there, there's gonna be their specific website, kind of similar over the process of getting yourself certified. If not, or if so, feel free to put your comments down below so you can help other individuals and in how that works for other vendors. Uh, as well as subscribe to my channel. Be greatly appreciated. And tell me if you like this video. Um, if there's any additional questions down below, I'll feel free to answer them as soon as I can. Normally turnaround time is like three days that I can respond back to your questions. Uh, if there's anything else further that I can help you out with. Thank you for visiting iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. You can also reach us. Uh, if you're not sure what our channel is, you can just visit us by visiting iosgenius.com and that will redirect you to our channel page which we have many different uh, tutorials and videos on Macs, uh, cloud printing as well as MDM solutions uh, for anything and everything that's pretty much out there. Thank you and have a great day.